Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We probably all know by this point that um, YouTube views alone are not paying pretty much anybody's bills right now besides like the top dogs of YouTube. And I've preached this from the very beginning of YouTube since before I even had really anyone watching me that YouTube should never be your primary source of income or your only source of income. I guess you can't help if it's your primary source of income, but it should never be your only source of income. I am all about having those multiple revenue streams. And if you guys haven't seen my video about the YouTube adpocalypse, definitely recommended viewing after this. I'll have it linked in the description box. But what I'm talking about today is uh, five different businesses that you can actually start from your bed with really probably zero upfront costs. These are things that I specifically picked out for YouTubers because I know that on my channel and my podcasts on, you know, all over the web, I talk a lot about different freelancing jobs and things like that. But a lot of them you have to be pretty skilled at. You have to know how to do them. But these ones are things that I feel like the majority of YouTubers, like if you're running a semi-successful channel at this point, you probably have these skills already and you just need to mobilize them. First one is pretty obvious, or at least it should be to YouTubers if you ask me, and that's a video editor. A lot of people, believe it or not, would pay money to have somebody edit their videos. I think a lot of YouTubers think about their world and it's kind of very small. Like we think about other YouTubers when we think about our potential customers. We think about people who are a lot like us and I'm like, no other social media marketing tip lady is gonna pay me to edit her videos because that's her job, that's what she does, she knows how to do that. But think a little bit bigger. Think about small local businesses in your area. Think about people who are just getting started on YouTube and like don't have an audience yet, don't have their editing style down yet, don't know how to edit yet. Think about, you know, thought leaders who you know, writers and speakers and things like that. A lot of those people would love to have a social media presence, specifically a video presence, but they just don't know how to do it yet. You obviously, if you have a channel, you know how to edit video. And I'm not saying that you're Steven Spielberg, he's not an editor, but you know, I'm not saying you're like one of the greatest editors in the world, but for a lot of people, this is exactly what they need. If I'm a speaker and I just need a speaking reel done, you can do that for somebody. So keep your eyes open, look beyond your YouTube sphere. I know that's a scary thing for a lot of people, but just take a look at what's going on in the business community in your area. Take a look at like people that you see online, reach out to people, start a LinkedIn page, connect with people, and maybe even just take some portfolio projects to start. See if uh, anybody that you know would be interested in, you know, getting a couple things edited by you to put on a portfolio, which could be a website, which could be a physical, thumb drive that you hand out to people. It could be a lot of different things, but I think that that would be an incredible side hustle. And you can also do this like really cool. You can do not just YouTube videos, but you could do um, social media videos. I've actually thought about offering this as a service, like specifically editing square videos for people because a lot of people don't know how to do that. They can't figure that out. If you have Final Cut, it's so easy to edit a square video that plays really well on Facebook, Instagram, all the social channels. You guys have all probably seen the intros that this guy does for like every major YouTuber out there. He makes these cartoony intros. Dude, I, he has to be making some decent money because everybody has them now. So find something like that that you can latch on to and uh, use networking groups to kind of like throw your hustle out there and network with people. There's tons of Facebook groups out there. Number two, very similar, but a designer, graphic designer. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, I don't know how to use Photoshop that well, I'm not that amazing, blah, blah, blah. But to some people, you know everything. So think about the people who, you know, don't have channel art on their YouTube channel, who don't have any kind of like graphic, nice end card, who don't have any social media story, like Instagram story graphics. A lot of these things can honestly be made in Canva and it might not make you a million bucks if you're selling stuff that's made in Canva, but it might be a nice little uh, bonus. And if people really like your style and your eye, honestly, that's a lot of what it comes down to is do they like your style? Do they like your eye? Do they like your vision? And you can execute it. Third thing is uh, my fave and you could be a social media manager. Again, you know how to schedule things to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and Instagram more than likely if you're doing it for your own personal brand, so why not do it for somebody else? This is another one that especially is good for uh, looking beyond your community, your YouTube community. I work primarily with small businesses and personal brands, and I haven't worked with a YouTuber in a while. I used to work with a lot of YouTubers, and you know what, I realized 
they didn't pay me as well as a small business would. Obviously, you know, they're working on the same kind of budget that I'm working on. I would work with bigger YouTubers, so they were, were making a lot bigger paychecks, but still, you know, working with a small business, a lot of times they have a little bit more budget and can do some more creative things than just a YouTuber. So again, look in your community, see what businesses might need a little bit of an extra marketing push, see what businesses are new in your area. And if you're really serious about this, I, of course, I do have an online course that you can take. It's called A Journey Social. It's only $19. It's very affordable. It really goes through how I set up my business, how I price my products, how I do discovery calls with people, like everything. So that will be linked in the description box if you're interested. But honestly, I love social media management. I love doing it freelance. It's the most amazing thing that I've really done for myself. And I didn't go to school for this. I went to school for film, you know? I didn't even take a marketing class in college, I don't think. I think I took like one. I don't know, I didn't even take one in college. I took one in high school. Like I figured out social media marketing by learning on the internet basically and reading a bunch of books and taking a bunch of courses so you can do that for yourself too this isn't something that you need like an MBA for fourth consultant again maybe you're not the best editor I know I'm actually not the best at shooting or editing I actually really don't like production of videos which is strange because like I just said I went to school for it but I, that's never been my strong suit my strong suit has always been producing and the vision behind things and setting everything up and kind of the project management behind it I can find a great contractor who can shoot a video for you I can oversee the project I can edit the script I can do all that stuff so maybe that is what you want to do is either be a producer or be a consultant for again a small business uh, a, a youtuber maybe there's a big youtuber that you have some kind of access to and they might need somebody who can kind of just consult for them and give them some tips on how to do video themselves and you know what a lot of times especially for small businesses people want to see that kind of raw uncut like even this might be too fancy for some consumers a lot of times they just want to see business owners go live on Facebook. They want to see business owners, you know, do quick video pan updates of new products that they got in. So you can go in and charge a consulting rate, which oftentimes can be, you know, up to $100 or more. I would say probably starting out maybe $60 an hour, $50 an hour is realistic and do consulting calls with business owners who want to learn about video marketing. Now, obviously you need to brush up on some business stuff. You can't just be like, oh yeah, just like make a clickbait title because you know, that's not what they want to hear. But start to do a little bit of research on marketing like words and marketing concepts and learn how to tie those into YouTube and how to educate them. It's, it's honestly, pr the connection is there. People are learning about video. People want to do video. And it's absolutely something that you can do if you believe in yourself and are confident, seriously. Sometimes confidence is the biggest thing. Like show that you know what you're talking about, act like you know what you're talking about, and um, maybe you can do it. Last thing, shop owner. Now I know what you're thinking. You said I could start all these things from bed. This sounds like, first of all, I have to go out and find clients do it online. Secondly, shop owner, like do I have to buy product? Do I have to open a store? No, you can go the reseller route, which actually would probably require you to get out of bed, unfortunately. But a lot of people are doing this where you like go to a thrift store and buy all the like nicest stuff you can find and then sell it on Depop. Those things, those people who do that fascinate me. I, I follow a couple girls on here who do it and it's genius. I love it. That's how Nasty Gal got started. Sofia Amorosa, Amorosa whatever and it's a really smart idea and yeah there's other ways that you can do things too you can open like a Shopify store again you would probably need product for that so you may have to get out of bed for that too but you can at least start the concept in bed and you can also do just merch like um there's tons of different merch websites that I know of I'll list some of them down below and a lot of those all you have to do is upload a design to the website so literally you can do this part from bed you know design something in Canva or Photoshop or whatever Upload it and then choose which products you're going to sell. Boom. Push out the link to your followers and you have a nice little additional revenue stream. So me personally, I do a little bit of all of these except for the shop. I, I don't have any merchandise. I don't really plan on it for a while at least. But I do some video editing for some clients. I do some social media image editing for clients. I obviously do social media management and all of my social media management packages come with consulting. I also sell one-on-one -on -one consulting calls, both for people like you, like other people who have YouTube channels or want to be freelancers, and for 
small businesses and brands. So I sell those on my website. You know, it's a nice little way to make additional revenue. I'm sure there's a bajillion other ways, but literally for most of these things, for all four that I do, I can absolutely do those laying in my bed, drinking some hot coffee, being in my onesie, whatever, and it's amazing. So yeah, it's uh, not that hard. You just need to start thinking about using your skills in different ways. And I know that it's hard to sacrifice a little bit of like your creativity and your ownership working for somebody else, but it's just reality. Like, I mean, I don't know, it's reality. And if you make, make some money by doing some stuff for other people, you have more money to reinvest in your channel. I actually have found that making a little bit less money on YouTube is a little bit of a relief for a lot of people, myself included, because it, it takes the job away from this and it makes it more about just being creative and wanting to do cool things for you guys. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I post videos every week and I would love to have you stay for a while. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.